In this video, we will review how to perform lower extremity muscle compartment pressure testing. These are the essential elements needed to perform compartment pressure testing. Always obtain consent with your patient prior to this procedure. Pertinent risks with this procedure include bleeding slash pain, infection, and damage to local structures, including nerves. There are four compartments of the leg, including anterior, lateral, superficial posterior, and deep posterior. The anterior compartment is found just lateral to the tibial spine. Find the tibia approximately one third down the leg and then palpate the anterior compartment about one centimeter lateral to the anterior tibial border. To find the lateral compartment, have the patient internally rotate their hip and palpate the fibular head at the lateral knee. Then slide down the leg approximately one third down the leg to feel the lateral compartment. The superficial posterior compartment is the easiest to find. This can be palpated in the middle of the calf, again approximately one third down the leg. The deep posterior is most reliably found by having the patient externally rotate their hip, then palpating just posterior to the medial border of the tibia. After identifying all four compartment sites, we recommend marking them with a surgical pen. Then prepare the skin with chlorhexidine or iodine. Draw up 1% lidocaine and infiltrate just the skin of the four testing sites to help provide anesthesia. Next, turn to preparing the intracompartmental pressure device. Typically, the device will have a pressure monitor and then a disposable kit with a chamber stem, pre-filled syringe, and needle. Apply the needle to the chamber stem, then attach the pre-filled syringe to the chamber stem. Slowly inject the syringe to fill the chamber stem and needle. You want to have a continuous column of fluid from the needle tip to the chamber. Place the chamber stem into the well of the monitor and make sure that it snaps into place. Turn on the device and position the needle perpendicular to the angle of the skin. Keeping the monitor at this angle, zero the device. Then insert the device through the skin at the same perpendicular angle. Advance the needle approximately two centimeters into the muscle. You may feel a pop as you pass through the skin and fascial layers into the muscular compartment. Then slowly inject a small amount of fluid less than one cc. This displaces fluid into the surrounding interstitium to help create a single continuous fluid column to the pressure device, thus allowing us to accurately measure the pressure. The pressure number may spike up, but then it will taper off to an equilibrium. Record the number you think best reflects this equilibrium. Repeat this for all four compartments.